All right, boys and girls, it's grug time. Grug on testing. Grug have love-hate relationship with test. Tef save Grug many, many uncountable time and Grug love and respect test. I just turned off alerts, by the way. Can someone tell me congratulations right now? Tell it to me. You know what? You should press the like button because I just turned it off and you don't have to hear, welcome to Costco. I love you. All right. Unfortunately, also many test shamans exist. Some test shaman make test idle. Demand things like first test before Grug even write code or have any idea what Grug doing domain. I love shitting on TDD. This is beautiful. How Grug test what Grug not even understand domain yet? Oh, don't worry. The test will show you what you need to do. Once again, Grug, or Grug once again, catch Grug slowly react, reaching for club, but Grug stay calm. Good job, Grug. I do agree, Grug. This is pure nonsense. Grug pr instead prefer write most tests after prototype phase when code has begun firm up. Typically at that point when the code begins to firm, I'm pretty firm too, feeling ready to write some tests. You know, not too many tests, right? You just want the tip. You don't want you don't want to go all in on it. Uh, you don't want you don't want like a whole thing. You just want just enough. You know what I mean? That's right, Pick. You know what I'm talking about, Pick. You know. You know. Pick out, pick out there, tip out all day, okay? We all know this. <laughs> By the way, pick, there's going to be at least 40,000 people that hear me say that exact phrase about you. So, sorry, you're welcome. Go follow pick on Twitter. Um, but note, well, Grug must here be very disciplined. Easy Grug to move on and not write tests because work on Grug's machine. This very, very bad. No guarantee work on other machine and no guarantee work on Grug machine in future many times. <laughs> test shaman have good point on importance of test. Even if test shaman often sometimes not complete useful feature in life and talk only about test all time. Deserve a club, but heart in right place. <laughs> I think this is specifically calling out Dave Farley. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Also, test shaman often talk unit test very much, but Grug not so find useful. Grug experience that ideal tests are not unit tests or either end-to-end -end tests, but in-between tests. Dude, love it! Unit tests, fine. Okay, but break as implementation change, much compared to API. And make refactor hard. And frankly, many bugs anyway often do interactions other code. Often throw away when te when code change. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely great point. Absolutely. Grug write unit tests mostly at start of project. Help get things going, but not get too attached or expect value long time. End-to-end -end test, good. Show whole system work, but hard to understand when break and drive Grug crazy very often. Sometimes Grug just ends up ignoring because, oh, that breaks all the time. Very bad. Dude, I'm totally onto this. I, I love this absolutely love what is going on right here which is unit tests i find unit tests only super useful when pretty much tied to implementation and what i mean by that is that you have an exceptionally hard narrow thing in which the the what does he call it the uh the something spirit demon complexity spirit demon when the complexity spirit demon is just strong in one small area and there's just like no way to make that simple. And it's extremely hard to get right first try. And you have to run it like 19 times to make the thing probably correct. To me, unit test that. It's tied into implementation. It is what it is. You know what I mean? It is what it is. End to end though, I hate working with real data. I don't want a single service ever, ever to be involved. I hate it. In between tests, Grug here, Shaman call integration tests, sometimes often with sour look on face, but Grug say integration test sweet spot, according to Grug. High level enough test correctness of system, low level enough with good debugger, easy to see what break. Like it. Grug prefers some unit tests, especially to start, but not 100% all code test and definitely not first test. Yes. Yes. Test along the way work pretty well for Grug, especially as Grug figure things out. Grug 
focus much feroc ferocious integration test effort as cut point emerge and system stabilize. So I like this. So one thing, one thing that I really try to do because I, I, I build predominantly tools. So if you don't know, I'm just a tool and I build tools. And so what I do is I always try to make all my tools either take in a file or standard in, treat that the same. And then that way, as I do my operation, I can actually do mock data in. Fantastic, right? And then on top of that, any data requesting, when I enable an, uh, an integration test, I always make it so that any data request throws an exception. Because sometimes, by accident, you're going to have some level of data re requesting actually sneak in, right? I've had some happen where data changed on the other side and all my integration tests worked except for one tiny, teeny, tiny bit that was actually requesting like the title of a video or something like that. And I didn't realize it was requesting the title of a video. That service worked every single time except for when they changed the title and then completely and absolutely dominated me. And so, you know, it's just my, that's how I, that's how I do it. You know what I mean? That's, that's what I like to do. I like to be really, 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 really specific on those things. Uh, anyways, cut point API, hopefully stable, compare implementation and integration tests remain valuable many long time and easy to bug. I find, I still find integration tests kind of hard to debug, right? They're, they're definitely not easy because it's the entire system, right? The entire system always makes everything difficult or most of the system, right? It's, uh, is configuring NeoVim a wasting your time? No. Uh, also, small, well-curated end-to-end test suite is created to be kept working religiously or re relig religiously, yeah, on pain of clubbing. Focus of important end-to-end -end test on most common UI features and few most important edge cases, but not too many or become impossible to maintain. Then ignore. This is so true. Who here, type one in the chat if you've worked at a place that has failing tests, but they never get fixed. And there becomes this one test that fails 50% of the time. Press one. Yeah. There's definitely like this. This happens all the time. But here's the worst part. Sometimes the test fails for real. And you're just like, that's that one test. It fails all the time. Let it go. And then you're like, oh, shit, it's broken. <laughs> we just had a meeting about it. It's, it's one of the most common, common problems in programming is failing tests. There, if, okay, so I always have, so people... I've heard people try to argue differently, but generally this is how it goes. I prefer in order, correct data, missing data, bad data. So same thing with tests, correct test, no test, flaky test. Because if you have a flaky test, that is the worst of all outcomes, especially when it's a sporadic one that makes rounds against all different tests. Because at that point, you have to think, oh, you know, if it fails a couple times, whatever, I've seen these different tests all pass, it's probably okay. Right? It's, it's actually the worst. It is by far the worst, right? I, well, no, no, no. I prefer 200, 404, 500. I don't prefer 200, 500, 404. 500 worse. 500 bad, 500 bad like fake data or bad data, bad data, bad. Every single time, bad data is the worst. Uh, bad data is single-handedly the, the worst thing you can do for a company. If you have bad data as a company, you will hands down create and do features and make things for people that don't exist or what they're doing does not exist. And you'll think you're doing a good job. Bad data is the worst. 419, I'm a teapot. I'll accept that as well. This ideal set of tests to Grug, or this ideal set of tests to Grug, you may not like, but this peak Grug testing. Also, Grug dislike mocking and test. If you have to mock, you've done something wrong. Fight me. This, again, is why I think a little bit of unit testing makes you a better programmer. If you know how to unit test, you will start building things in which you'd stop mocking. It's so effing simple. 
jump in here. Okay, I know we're in here. Okay, blah, 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 blah. You have some function complex that does a bunch of stuff, right? It's in here and it does just, just a bunch of crap, right? Blah, 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 blah. Very, very much so complex. And in, in here, you do something stupid like import FS from FS, blah, 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 blah. And you're like, uh, you know, you'll do something like file name, you know, whatever. Oh, string. There we go. And it passes out a string. Why not? Right? We'll just do this. Return this. Bam, bam, bam. And you go up here and you go like this. Uh, const, uh, you know, whatever. There you go. Read file sync. Got it. Nailed it. Right? Bad. This is bad. Don't do this. Don't do that. Instead, you write two things. You have complex. Whoopsies. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I somehow jumped there. Okay. Vim. Just too powerful for me. Instead, you have, you know, file contents. Right? And you do the complex stuff right here. That's where the complex stuff happens. Then you have another function that's actually like, you know, get the effing data. And it goes in and it gets the data, right? Like that's the one you want to do right here because that's the one you don't have to mock anymore. This is the thing you're testing. This is the thing that integrates with the environment. Stop mocking this step. It is bad for your health, for the health of everyone around you. Unless the file is a uh, one terabyte big. Stop the music. Stop the music. Hey, hey, come here. Um, if you have a unit test or an integration test or an end-to-end -end test that involves a one terabyte long file, I would strongly recommend thinking a touch more because first off reading a terabyte is going to take several 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 seconds and then after you do all that you're going to crash your api constantly because guess what hey guess what dummy node js has like a maximum four gigabyte heap without that special flag you don't got that much memory sitting around on your pewter it's not going to work out anyway so it's just that the, the whole notion and everything you're saying don't make no frankincense okay so don't do that Make simple things you can test because simple things to test equals simple things to debug. Simple things to debug equals you don't spend your time just crying because every time that one test breaks, you know you have a four hour what the f just happened debugging session. No good. Okay? Keep it simple, stupid. And I mean that. Okay? I mean that. <laughs>I, uh, I'm not calling you stupid, Karen. Okay, I think you're clearly talented and you you know things. Um, you're a pe you're a people person. Okay, that's different. See, I'm an engineer. Okay, I don't talk I don't talk to people, Karen. Okay, we're different. Okay, we're different. <laughs>
I'm always a little worried about how close you get to the source code when it comes to testing. I'm always a little worried. I never know the right answer, but I don't know the wrong answer. You know what I mean? What up, Monty Coder? Hey, guess what? That's grug on testing. Huh? Huh? Hey, if you if you press like enough, I might even just read. Agile, okay? I just might. Who am I kidding? The name is the primogen. <laughs> 